Right, what's up guys, Technicals here. And what is up guys, Technicals here. We're in the farm doing a little maintenance today, a little heavy maintenance. Figured I had the time, so let's go ahead and do it. Uh, if you've been following the progress, you know that pollen is hot, hot stuff right now. Trees, it's the latest meta, pollen. Probably the worst time of year for pollen. I'm in the Southeast, North Carolina. A lot of pine, a lot of tree pollen. I've got this uh, active intake system which we've gone through before is filtered on the outside and we're currently running tests on reusable filters because replaceable filters are gonna be way too expensive. I'm looking at maybe a month if I'm lucky times three. So that's like, you know, 15 bucks at a minimum per month for cheap filters. So I've got to find a better solution. Currently running a test on a hydrostatic or electrostatic reusable filter and then putting in a third stage of filtration here on the inside, you can see here, I removed the louvers and replaced it with one of these uh, reusable MERV-1 uh, cut to size. And I've got another uh, test coming in. So that is a separate video entirely. These push pull in, or they pull in air all day, all the live long day. And so obviously pollen's gonna make it through. And if you know anything about pollen is that nature designed it to be sticky because it floats through the air and it wants to stick to the, the pistol or the stamen or whatever the hell the, the female part of the tree is, the tree pussy. It wants to stick to that. So um, pollen sticking and it's coming in here and floating around and going right into the miners. Ideally, most of it just passes through. Recently redid all our CPUs and blew them all out, but we've got pollen sort of everywhere. We just did another sort of project where we were added in this extra 30 amp and this is not going over my limit because this kind of gets to the point of this video which is this bad boy. Outlet number one, 50 amp. Now, a couple people have commented on this because 30 amp is the absolute standard for single phase residential mining application. Not a lot of people using 50 amps and I already had a 50 amp circuit in here for welding and I just decided to repurpose it. And you know, the, the things kind of got away from me. I didn't really even consider swapping this out for a 30 amp when I had these installed. I got a 50 amp single phase PDU. And a lot of people ask about this, like I've never seen a 50 amp PDU before single phase. Cause usually if you're at 50 amp, you're on three phase power. Uh, but I got this on Amazon and it's the same brand uh, PDU as I use with the thirties. The only problem is, is that it gets kind of warm and you know, that's not uncommon. Uh, the, the plugs get warm because the, the most amount of resistance is right here where the plug contacts the receptacle. Uh, but this plug, it gets a lot warmer. Now it's pulling a lot more amps, obviously, because uh, it's a 50 amp PDU and I've got these three bastards on it. Previously, I had S21, two S19s, two L3s and a partridge in a pear tree, something on it. And it was about 36 amps. So the limit on this is 40. That's 40 is 80% of 50. And so we were under our 80 amp limit, but the days started getting a little warmer and this thing started getting hot. Now, not hot to the point where I couldn't hold my hand on it. I could still do that. But as the days get warmer, I want to think ahead and I, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies. So what I've decided to do is not replace it with a 30 amp because I could just swap out this receptacle with one of these L6s and, and put it in here, use the same wires. I mean, they're just a heavier gauge wire, but I could still put a 30 amp in there. But I already bought the 50 amp PDU. It's It works fine at lower limits. It's just at that upper limit, I'm a little uncertain about it. And I don't think like, the, there's like separate layers of like failure, like containment and safety. So I'm not going to nix it, but I certainly absolutely would not recommend a 50 amp PDU unless Triplight makes one. And if Triplight makes one, it's probably like four or $500 anyway. So I wouldn't recommend running a 50 amp outlet for single phase residential application. Uh, stick to the 30 amps. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it in place, but I'm going to limit it to only these three miners, nothing else, nothing else can go in here. So that's kind of the, the thinking here. And what I might actually end up doing on this 50 amp is like taking the amp miners off it completely uh, because everything else when it mines, it doesn't fluctuate a lot, but amp miners when they get hot, they start using more power. Uh, so I'm just gonna limit this to say like 50%. And then this, that's just where I run 
And since that kind of doesn't give me enough room, I wanted to go ahead, I had the time, I had the parts, put in this extra 30 amp. I'm still sticking to my 100 amp limit, but the 50 amp PDU is a no-go. So certainly do not recommend that. The other things I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and pin this new 30 amp PDU somewhere up here, take all the things out, blow them out, get as much pollen out as I possibly can, vacuum everything out, wipe down as much pollen as I can. I'll probably have to do it again uh, but hopefully the secondary filtration solution works. Otherwise, I just want to take the edge off. So let's get started. Most of the pollen remediation is over. So what I'm gonna do before I kick the fans back on is I'm actually gonna uh, swap out, put this in because every little bit helps. So let's do that. All right, this is, again, just a temporary solution, but I got the louvers off, these temps in place, got the experimental uh, reusable filters for the inside coming in, our stage three experiments. Uh, or we may just end up going with something like this. If this was like a half inch instead of an inch, I think it would work a lot better, but we got them sort of rubber banded in. I got out as much pollen as I possibly could, so I think we're ready to uh, fire everything back up. We took the L3 Pluses out. We're decommissioning them. I'm making the executive decision. Uh, two of the hash boards on one don't run. And, you know, unless Doge is like 50 cents a coin, even if Doge was 50 cents a coin, it would still only make like, you know, 10 cents a day or something. So uh, for peace of mind, I'm just pulling them. And our silence is in place. We haven't done any revisions to it, but right now when I first kick the ASICs on, they're at their absolute loudest. You know, when you first turn them on, the fans go absolutely crazy. It's loud, but it's not nearly as loud as it was. So this is working out really good. All right, so everything's on and loud again. Um, got these three amp miners. I know I said earlier in the video that uh, I'm just gonna have these three, but actually these three were what were bringing it to that upper limit. And yeah, it's a little worn for my liking. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these and move it over here, because this is currently unoccupied except for the KSO Pro, which is pulling 0.7 amps. So virtually nothing. Is this even on? It should be more than that. I'll, I'll check on that. Uh, I'm gonna swap one of these over. That'll drop me there. I'll pick it up there. Fans aren't bringing in nearly as much air. I mean, that's just gonna happen. If you add more filtering, that means less air. But if that's what I gotta do, because you know, maybe in the summertime, if there's less pollen, I can get away with uh, reducing filtration. But you know, I wanna I wanna make sure I find that sweet spot. Currently, the hot area is 67 that's up there at the pigtail things are running great it's pretty cool out it's pretty cool outside right now so i don't have to worry about it too much uh but as you know just as a state state of the farm this is working great that's working great the exhausts up there are working great so 
I'm very pleased. That's the squeeze. If you like videos like this, where it's just a uh, vlog style, I guess, me doing farm shit versus, uh, you know, the other style of video, be sure to let me know in the comments below because I think people like this kind of, I like this kind of video better. It's a lot easier to do anyway. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'm the Technicals. See you next time.